welcome to our first nomination show. We have spent all week building two happy houses, but now as the nominations are looming, the cracks are beginning to show. Carlo said he doesn't know if he can last the three months, and Ben's mentioned he'd like to leave. But is that just because he's scared? Hmm? It is a terrible thing to have to nominate, but it is even worse to be nominated. And tonight, we will have all the nomination action live from the house. Plus, to Khan, Damien and Katrina, who were all nominated in their first week. But now, let's get on with the nominations. And the first two up in the square corner are Carlo and Vincent. So far, we've seen them fight, bicker, bond and share a bed. Let's see what happens next. Once you fell asleep, we actually had a conversation. Yeah, we did actually for a while too. <laughs> about what? About the space time. A real conversation. Evolution, oh. DNA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See you, Vince. 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 Good night. You know what I look forward to? Jumping into bed with Carlo. <laughs> but a bing, look at you. But you, you're still, what, you're 21? <laughs> See, when I was your age, I thought, you know, 26, 27, I thought that was old. And then something had happened. You know, I turned 26, I turned 27, now 300. I just turned 29. So what am I getting for your 30th? I don't know, 30 mate. hookers? 30 hookers. <laughs> we're staff from, we're staff from Red Nuts. Red hey, hey, they don't, don't, have, don't have to be hookers, they can just be models, you know? <laughs> This is Big Brother. Vincent to the diary room. Oh, oh, oh you're dead. Look at you. You are so screwed. Doing the nomination. Look at you. 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 Don't forget the salad bowl. Vincent. Big Brother. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? For two points, I'm going to give it to Sax. Um, I don't know, when we talk, there's no warmth there, and it's. I'm and working how on does it. that affect your experience in the house? Oh, makes me a little bit withdrawn, if you know what I mean. A little bit uncomfortable. Who do you nominate for one point and why? One point, um, I'll give it to Irina. Out of everyone else in the house, she's probably the one I've clicked with the least. And when she comes close to me, again, it's just a little bit uncomfortable. But Vincent, that's not an adequate reason. I'll give you one more attempt at saying that. Well, when she comes close and we talk, um, she's really open and she's really nice. But I don't have that connection and uh, there's no other way to put it. It just makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Who do you nominate to stay in the house for two points and why? Uh, to stay. Um, Carlo. He makes me laugh. I have not laughed this hard for years. Who do you nominate for one point to stay in the house? Belinda. Um, she's fantastic at keeping the place clean. And how does that affect your experience? It makes it more comfortable. It makes it a nice place to live. And I like being around, you know, nice, clean places. Thank you. Thank you. Carlo to the diary room. Oh, they've been evicted. <laughs> oh, I think I shat myself. Oh, God. Oh, hey, Nelly. <laughs> Hang on, Jenny, you have to wait for me to quit. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Oh. Can you get the ball? I'll get it. Oh, see you. See you on the other side. Oh, Hello. Carlo, mm -hmm. who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Two points, and it's not... It's really small things that go on really well, and that's just button it up and whatever it is. But for two points... You're dealing go, with somebody's life here. It I shouldn't know. be a small thing. I know, I know. I know. Not, not a small thing, it's just a small thing that's been accumulating, and I'm the type of person that doesn't like getting told what to do. So who do you nominate and why? So I'm going to say Vincent, because he always, he's a really good bloke, and we get on both Italian and get on really well, but he's got this presence of every time I do something, he's always telling me to do it his way or whatever, or I let him do it because I don't mind, but then it gets, it ends up... You shipping. don't mind? No, I don't, like, I don't mind doing it at that stage. Like, I'll do it, not to cause an argument, but it just, it gets to me, like... Every time I say something, I say, oh, don't say that, you know, or calm down your language. Tell me what to do when, like, 
you're my boss in this place here. You're my father figure. And if I wanted that, I'll go, I'll live at home, you know what I mean? Thank you. Who do you nominate for One Point and why? One Point was a very hard decision, and I know this girl done a lot for me and whatever, but she's... I'm going to nominate Belinda because things like uh, with her food thing, she's throwing them away and stuff and not consulting with people, moving How does stuff. that affect your experience? Well, I'm Italian. My mum always tells me never throw food away and we could have worked out a way to save it or whatever and just... Well, she moves stuff from mine. Like, I leave a pair of scissors there, I'm going to come back to it and it's gone. It's like mum doing it to me and it really irritates me. I never thought it did, but... That's it, the point. Thank yeah. you. Who do you nominate to stay in the house for two points and why? Stay in the house. Um, oh, God, I don't know. Uh, Claire, just uh, she's a really good girl and we intellect, very smart, and just get along really well. And because she's doesn't really attract it to guys, and I'm not really, I got a girlfriend. We can get along and be nice. And there's no like. Who do you nominate for one point to stay and why? Um, oh, because I don't know. I'm, I've been. Uh, uh, Irina, surely that girl's a beautiful girl. Same reason we both got boy, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, and just she's got that Russian mentality. She reminds me of the girl in the eighties. She's just a really fun girl. Those two girls are just are just really fun girls. Thank you. Is that all, mate? That's all. Thank you. Cheers, bro. He's an impressive figure, Carlo, isn't he? Scratching his bum before he goes into the diary room. Someone should tell him there are cameras in that house. Because we can see his every move. Now, that was interesting, wasn't it? Because Vincent's first nomination to keep in the house was Carlo. And Carlo's first nomination to get out of the house was Vincent. Both of them seem to like having people clean up after them. In particular, women. Vincent wins on that stake. It didn't seem to matter who was doing it. And Carlo's only complaint was that Belinda was cleaning up too quickly too efficiently and not asking his permission first. My goodness, women are continuing to be slaves in the house. <laughs> now it is time for Belinda and Saxon, who seem to have developed, ironically, a very strong bond out of mutual respect for each other's cleaning. <laughs> OK, so your girlfriend would love you. No, nah, because I think sometimes I get too clean. No. Oh, well, you're like me, because friends come over and they're like, Linda, can you just sit down? I'm so glad to hear Saxon. It's really good. Thank you. It's good to be here. Take that. She's a bloke with tits. This is Big Brother. Belinda to the diary room. Oh, God, we're like, what the hell? <laughs> So this I is pre-recorded. Like, do five like, before you go in there. Sucks. Like... <laughs> wet one, wet one. No, no. Suck. Can you throw the ball, please, before you go in? Not that ball. Thank you. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Go, Belinda. Hi, big brother. Belinda, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? OK, I nominate Vincent for two points because he actually quite... Um, he, he scares me a little bit because he's always very close to me and I'm not a, um, I'm not a close, close person to people and he's um, always following me and I just can't handle that. I feel quite uncomfortable. Who do you nominate for one point and why? I nominate Carlo for one point because his swearing and uh, moral rights about sexual things hurts me quite a little bit. Who do you nominate to stay in the house for two points and why? Oh, um, Jamie, because he is an awesome, awesome bloke and he really values life. Who do you nominate for one point to stay in the house? I nominate Claire to stay in for one point because her rights towards everyone really... Well, sorry, I should say that properly. She cares for everybody equally. She doesn't beat around the bush and she tells people what she feels. Thank you. Thank you. Saxon to the diary room. Saxon. Mm. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction? Um, Vincent. Why is that? Um, because 
considering that I've been here the amount of time I have, the way that people have treated me, considering that he has been, he's acted a lot of times in a rude way that's made me feel very uncomfortable and sort of like as if I'm not a real housemate, like I'm sort of an outsider and, and I don't appreciate that and it sort of puts me on edge and then I start being a bit snappy and things like that. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, I've been thinking a lot about this um, and as much as I don't want to, I'm going to nominate Jamie for one point just because a lot of the time that we're in conversations and things like that, he'll say something that he thinks is a joke um, but actually it's like quite sort of a... sort of makes me feel very uncomfortable and it, there's sort of a feeling of... Um, as Can if you give not... an example, please? Yep. Um, he, we'll be sitting outside and he'll say... Like, we'll be talking about... I don't know whether it's about sexuality or something like that and he'll say something that makes me feel very... Um, like, I don't... He comes across as if he's not g fully genuine to me and I sort of feel like there's sometimes that I can't trust him and we can't be in a, situa in a situation like this if we don't have trust for each other. Thank you. Who do you nominate for two points to stay in the house? Two points to stay in the house? Um, probably Carlo and the reason why, yeah? Indeed, the reason. Um, the reason why being because he's um, probably the biggest energiser in the house and whenever you're in a conversation with him or whether he, ever you're doing stuff like that with him, um, he always makes you feel like very comfortable and like you feel good to be here, you don't have any thoughts about anything that's going on other than in the house. Who do you nominate for one point to stay in the house and why? Probably Claire because I find that when I have conversations with her she's I'm, I'm intrigued by her, like I, I really enjoy sitting down and having a conversation with her and when I'm chatting to her time flies and I feel like I'm drawing lots of things out of her and taking them in. Thank you. No worries. Quite difficult keeping notes of all of this, isn't it? I've gone through five pieces of paper and still can't understand them. What about Sneaky Claire? Who would have thought, live audience? Who would have thought? <laughs> She's so precious. You see, this is why this is a great nomination system. Now, we are getting a picture of who likes who in this square house, but it is still a little out of focus. After the break, first nomination veterans, Turkan, Damien and Katrina, and it's the Roundhouse's turn to throw a few verbal punches. You're watching Big Brother Live nominations and we are about to cross live to the Roundhouse for their first nominations. The first three in will be Chrissy, Leah and Daniel. Now Chrissy seems to really like Daniel. Daniel seems to really like Leah. And lovely Leah, well, to use a Leah-like phrase, whatever. I wonder what Daniel's going to think of today that'll make me oh, laugh his tits off. Start. So much fun for so little well, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a <amazing>. win, <laughs> Chrissy uh, pointed out last night that um, I've made the house louder. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, Do you noticed. all think that? Yeah, yeah, that was refreshing. When you I came in here the and your first thing you're doing is just yelling. Oh, that's right. I did, hey. You're like, yeah, I'm yelling! <laughs> I'm yelling loudly! Yeah, my friend John, he just board. starts going, la, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it next time, we won't know. Mm. This is Big Brother. Daniel to the diary room. I've got to press the button. Okay. I've got heebie jeebies in my Red. stomach. Heebie jeebies. Those guys. Sounds like a chicken. G'day, big brother. Daniel. Yeah. Who do you nominate for eviction for two points and why? Uh, for two points, I nominate Leah. Um, yeah, the reason why is um, when she first came in, um, she put her recyclables, like, I, I was like so charged that we had recyclables, like a separate bin, and um, she was the only one who didn't utilise that. And when I said to her, do you realise that that's the recyclable bin? She was like, oh, yeah, what are you going to do? 
And I thought that was very flippant, but not just because of that, because of sort of what that represented. And I think that attitude is sort of pervade through a few things as well. Does that affect your experience as a house? Yeah, it does. How? Um, I think it, it upsets the group dynamic to have someone who's, I don't know, I guess she's a... Not because she's young, but because of that, that careless attitude, uh, I think it upsets the group dynamic a little. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, for one point, I... Yeah, this is really tough, so... I, um, I nominate uh, Pat, um, and I really, really like the guy a lot, so there's no emotional reason, but tactically, um, I'm thinking uh, nominate other guys, because um, I think they're a tougher adversary, and um, yeah, and also because I've already nominated a girl, it seems to me balanced to nominate a guy. Who do you nominate to stay in the house for two points, and why? Um, oh, I hadn't thought of this. Um, <clears throat> um, Surely you know who you like. Yeah, no, I like everyone. I, um, who do you like most? And yeah, why? I think I'm having so much fun just goofing off with Chrissy. I'll nominate her for two points. And who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, yeah, I'll nominate Ben, because... Um, I'm just very surprised by how warm this guy's heart is, so, you know, all the things that, this, that he's seen, but that hasn't made him cold-hearted or um, cold his, uh, made his heart cold in any way. He's a very, very warm-hearted guy. Thank you. You may go. Thanks, big brother. Chrissy to the diary room. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy. Hi. Who do you nominate for eviction for two points and why? Um, two points for Leah um, because every half an hour or so she mentions the cameras or the television show or something um, about the experience that um, prevents me from living in the moment and forgetting that all that is going on. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, for one point I nominate Ben um, because sometimes his sense of humour is... Uh, a little bit sexist or um, puerile and it makes me feel uncomfortable sometimes. Who would you nominate for two points to stay in the house and why? Two points to stay in the house, Daniel, um, because he's just a delight and um, not only is he really funny, he's um, really kind and thoughtful and serious as well. To whom do you give one point for staying? One point to say, uh, Reggie, because um, she's really down to earth and um, great to talk to and very calm. Thank you. Thanks. Leah to the diary room. Hi, big brother. Leo. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? For two points, I nominate Ben. I feel that he is trying to take on a father type in the house and um, personally I am being affected from it as well as I think... How are you being affected? Um, I feel that because we are both dominant personalities and we both sort of try to... Um, sort of, you know, be leaders that we both clash in that sense, especially when we had a little bit of a tiff about the barbecue and cooking. Um, I feel that, you know, he was trying to take over and be in control and wasn't letting anyone else have a go, and I think that that's affecting the house as well as myself. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, for one point, I nominate Daniel because I feel that... Um, 
I haven't seen him clean up or help cook one single meal. Um, I don't think that he's pulling his weight at all. Um, and there are definitely others who are making a lot more of an effort and I haven't seen him pull his weight at all. Who do you nominate to stay in the House for two points and why? To stay in the House, I nominate um, Patrick because I feel that he is very... He's level-headed, he, um, he gets along with everyone, he's very equal around the house, he cleans and he helps out, and he's, yeah, I think that he's just very mediocre, so. Mediocre doesn't sound like a compliment. Oh, wait, I've probably used the wrong word. <laughs> he's, he's very good, I'm sorry, I, I've probably used Who the wrong word. Who do you nominate word. for one point and why? Um, to stay in the house. Indeed. Yeah, um, Reggie, because I think that she has just got a really great sense of humour and she is helping out a lot. Um, and she's definitely keeping the spirit in the house. Um, you know, she just, she really gives a good vibe and I think she's great, great fun and everyone loves her. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thanks. So, in the, ooh, in the audience, ooh. <laughs> We've had a taste of both houses' nominations. And joining us now with the voice of experience and first nomination veterans, Katrina, Damien and Takan. Under huge time pressures, because this is taking a long time for everybody to give both sides of the coin, mm. how hard was it for you to nominate the first time? It was pretty difficult. It was very small things. And unfortunately, I nominated these two the first time. Um, Turkan for a tiny little thing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's funny, because I nominated these two as well. Did you? <laughs> either one of you. Oh. Do you remember who you nominated? I think it was Shannon and Nathan. Because oh. they were loud and proud, so they loud stood out. Proud. Were any of you being tactical? No. Definitely no. not. Just desperate to think. Oh, it, it, was, it, was, it was tough. Like, I both liked their personalities, but some were just, you know, got, got the worst of me. But did any of you think, gee, that person's a little bit like me? I, I'd better get rid of them. Oh, no one was like me at all in that house. I was so far different from the rest of them. I had no idea what I was doing. But you still weren't settled in. That was the difficult was, thing for you. It was you. very hard. Are you relating? I think Claire was having a similar difficult situation. Yeah, Claire's also going off the cigarettes as well, so I think that's a little bit difficult. She's not going crazy like I did. She's just withdrawing. No, you see, this is a very good point. This is why you shouldn't smoke, because when you get on Big Brother and you're not allowed to smoke, you go completely spooky, so yes. don't smoke. All right, now, you hadn't just stopped smoking. You were very centred and focused. So you knew what you were doing. Oh, that's right. You were kissing everybody. I remember. Uh, of, of course, I was betrayed like that. That's, that's my character. But no, it wasn't a twenty-four-seven free for all. No, not a, not a big tongue fest. What a picture. No, you didn't kiss us that. too. I didn't kiss anyone. Oh, I wouldn't oh, let okay. you. No, you didn't. I just kissed no, girls. No, I kept my to myself. <laughs> and so, how do you think it would be nominating now? We just got to have a quick answer. If you actually had to say the people that you want to keep in the house. I think it make a big difference, like because you know who you're close to that first week, and you know who you want to kind of get along with for the next week, because yeah. you want things to be easy for you. You don't want to make life hard for yourself. Well, we're going to have a bit more on that subject shortly. Mm. In fact, we will be back with more live nominations straight after this break. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. You are watching Big Brother. So far, seven housemates have nominated. Big Brother asked each of them to first nominate the two people they most want out of the house, and he then asked for the names of the two people they most want to keep in the house. Now, what our housemates don't know is that it is those votes which will count tonight. Yes, the people with the least votes to stay in the house, and I'm thinking, will be put up for eviction. Do we understand that? Big yeah. Brother's a very clever man. We've had mathematicians working on this. All right? That is actually true. We have. Out my daughter, who's 12. But nevertheless, OK? So of all the people who are nominated, why do you want to have this person in the house? The people who get the least nominations to stay are the ones who will be nominated. All right? 
Does that make sense? So I'll, I know, I know, it's like being at school. So I'll just point out, in the square house at the moment, should I mention this big brother? I may as well. <laughs> Saxon and Vincent have not been nominated to stay. I know, it's like learning another language. And in the roundhouse, oh, I can't read my own writing. Joanne, big brother's going, Joanne. Jo <laughs> Joanne and Leah. All right, now that's taken about half an hour for me to explain, but it's really very, very simple. So now, in the square house, it's time for Claire, Jamie and Irina to vote. Uh-oh. You play much? I go down to the driving range. How far can you hit it? Pretty far. Really? 350 is my all time best, so that's, that's like one in, a, one in a bit. It's yeah. a freak shot. Like, wow. So, what are we going to do next? Shh. Copy, baby, baby. Hey guys, can we take it down a bit? Yeah. We'll drag you. silly one. When you look at the black Jamie and Saxon, like you can see, you can see how mature Jamie is. Mm. It's a sight. He needs a lot of attention. He's probably pretty high maintenance. I've got diarrhea. They give the ball. This is Big Brother. Jamie. To no, Jamie. No. <laughs> Jamie, you will be fine, man. Oh, yeah, okay. So, okay. man, one week's was good in the house. Oh, Jamie. Huh? Oh, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Why? Jamie. Hello. Jamie. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? For two points, I nominate Saxon. Every now and again, a bit of aggression pulls out and it's really striking and I'm not, just not a huge fan of people that are angry. Who do you nominate for one point and why? For one point would be Carlo. He's the coolest dude in the world, but he doesn't like, he doesn't seem to want to listen to me, my suggestions and ideas. Who do you nominate to stay in the house for two points and why? For well, two points to stay would be Vincent. I get along with him super well. I've got no worries and uh, it's just really, really easy to hang around with. Who do you nominate with one point? To stay would be Claire. She's got a lot of stuff that I find really interesting. So she's got the whole punk golf thing and I usually hang around with people like that so it's, that makes it easy too. Thank you. Thank you. Clear to the diary room. I know! You are really bad. Yeah, Mask who's making up the <clears throat> Claire. Big brother. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, for two points, I'd uh, kind of like to nominate Saxon. Uh, why? Because he it's just kind of annoys me sometimes. His volume level seems to be so much louder than everyone else's. And it just, like, um, when we're all sort of getting a bit quiet, it irritates me. Who do you nominate for one point and why? For one point, uh, I'd like to nominate Belinda because maybe um, just irritates me a little bit that she cleans obsessively um, and a lot of us have maybe indicated that we or I would indicate that I am inclined to sit and relax after I've finished eating and um, she wants to clean up straight away and I feel it's part of my duty to clean up as well but I want to sit and relax and it's not just with eating it's like with other things as well we want to sort of relax a little she gets up and clean I don't know if it's um She's trying to emphasise that we're dirty, uh, like we're not clean, clean as her or something like that. Who do you nominate to stay in the house for two points and why? Uh, to nominate to stay for two points... Um, firstly... Carlo. I really enjoy his continual sense of humour. Who do you nominate for one point and why? One point to stay in the house um, would be Vincent because I think we share a similar sort of 
um, ability to communicate on various different topics, um, not just <laughs> the, the major topic of the house, which is sex. We can communicate on a few different topics at the same time. Thank you. Thanks, Big Brother. Irina to the diary room. When you get in there, you'll realise... Do I press the button? Huh? Go! Go! Shut up! Shut up! Hi, Big Brother. Irina. Yes? Who do you nominate for two points for eviction, and why? Um, I nominate Belinda for two points. And I nominate Belinda because uh, she's very aware of uh, being on camera and she tells me about it, like she tells me how... How does that affect your life? It affects me because it makes me remember too and it makes me feel like maybe I should be acting different, but I just want to act natural and pretend, like just be in a house and not have to keep be reminded by it and that sort of puts me off a bit. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, I nominate uh, Vincent for one point. And it's because I've, uh, I've, I try, I want to be friends with everyone in the house and I want to appreciate everyone in the house. And when I try and talk to Vincent, like, I can't get a conversation going with him and I've tried many times and um, I've even asked him why and he just walks away. I don't think it's deliberate, but it, it affects me because I don't, I don't, I'm not establishing the relationship with him. Who do you nominate to stay in the house for two points and why? Okay. I nominate Carlo to stay in the house for two points and I nominate him because he's taken on the leadership role and he brings our whole group together. Um, I think that, you know, he's loud, he's, he's boisterous, whatever, like he's got other qualities as well, but he really keeps control of the group and I think that's very important. Who do you nominate for one point to stay and why? I nominate, um, I nominate Claire for one point to stay because I really feel we have the same sense of humour and we're always playing off each other with our humour and I really enjoy that. Thank you. Thank you. Well, surprises all over the place. That is all the nominations from the Square House, but we still have two rounds to go from the Roundhouse. You are watching Big Brother's live nominations. <laughs> Well, we've got two more nomination rounds to go. They're both from the Roundhouse and they're right from the core of it. Yes, the Gang of Four. It gets a little complicated when you get in this deep. It would seem that Ben likes Joanne, but Joanne seems to like Patrick. So Benjamin's paying attention to Regina, and Regina, well, she's just being Regina. <laughs> I know, I said that very nicely, didn't I? Interestingly, the next two on the starting blocks are the fabulous Joanne and Regina. I feel like I met you about four weeks ago. Yeah, it's been good. to me than the other man, but you just couldn't say it. <laughs> You're one of my housemates. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. This is Big Brother. Joanne to the diary. Hello. Oh. oh, my stomach. Yeah, I know, <laughs> me too. Brother. Hello, Joanne. Hello. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and two, why? Two points. I nominate Leah. Uh, the reason being that Leah um, I find to be quite intimidating 
at times. Um, she's very loud and boisterous, which is also good quite qualities. But sometimes it's a little bit, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. Um, she's also quite uh, abrupt with the way that she'll you know, say things like I'm always, like yeah, I always... You're criticising her manner so far, you're not telling me about how it affects your experience. How to, well, that's, she basically, like, the way that she'll speak to me sometimes is quite abruptly and so then I'm, I'm like, it's quite short and I feel, um, I can't describe, um, I don't know, I just, sometimes I feel like it's, I feel like I haven't been given a, a, enough chance with her, like she's quick to dismiss some things that I say, so that makes me feel bad. <laughs> um, Who do you nominate for one point and why? For one point, I nominate Daniel. He's got a lot of energy and I think that uh, it could potentially become quite uh, tiring on my behalf. So, um, although he's very funny at the moment, uh, it, you know, in future weeks, it could get a little bit old, so I'd probably get a little bit annoyed. Um, Who do you nominate to stay in the house for two points and why? To stay in the house? Patrick. I'd nominate Patrick straight away um, because he and I are on the same wavelength. Um, we just, I don't know, I've just got an instant with rapport with him. He's, um, we just seem to understand each other. Sorry? Who do you nominate for one point to stay and why? Um, to stay, probably say Chrissy, because although I've only known her for a couple of days, she hasn't been in the house as long as I have. Um, I think we have a lot in common and um, we have a few laughs. She's quite funny, so. Thank you. No problem. Regina to the diary room. Regina. Yes. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, I nominate two points to um um Oh, I forgot a name. Um, Leah, Leah, because I think that she's really loud and rowdy, and it. Can How be does that affect your experience of the house? Um, I don't know, it, it just gets um, annoying. I don't. Who do you nominate for one point for eviction and why? Um. One point I go to Jay because it, um, I still haven't really connected with her in conversation, in like in a conversation. That might be your fault. What's that? Sorry. That may be your fault. You need to tell me something about her. Oh. Um. Why haven't you connected with her? Isn't she the sort of person you connect with? Tell me. Oh, look, I connect with people, but there's still, I suppose, I still have to make some more effort into connecting with... Like, like I'm not on the same wavelength, if you know what I mean. Who do you nominate to stay in the house for two points and why? To stay? Um... Two points I'll give to, um, oh, I can't think of it. um, Patrick, because I like listening to his music. And who do you nominate for one point and why? Um, to Dan, because he's funny, entertaining. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> wow, that was quite exhausting.
to watch that process, wasn't it? Now tell me, what do you think of the, the nomination process so far? I think it's really interesting because I know last year when you actually went out back into the room, everyone was looking at you and you're afraid to make eye contact with people. Whereas this year you know that you're nominating against people but also for people. And I think it's going to change the dynamics of the group after they hear who the nominees are. Yes, good point. Yes? Mm. I like the format, I like the way it's set up so it allows people who uh, the public sees very annoying, i.e. Carlo, to be seen for who he really is, which is an energy buzz. And I could compare him to the likes of a Nathan last year where his constant energy uh, spurs you on. You know, yeah. it, it, it keeps you involved, it keeps you enthusiastic. It's yeah. good. And it would give a certain optimism to the house too, don't you think, Takan? How excited was Joanne? Patrick! I'm keeping him in the house for sure. And oh what God. are you reading into that, Jacqueline? I don't know. What are you guys reading into it? <laughs> She's just found someone who's on the She's same excited. level. She's got Very a boyfriend, excited. but doesn't she? She does have a boyfriend. He's been in the for house. A long time. That sort of stuff doesn't matter. You should know that. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we've got two more nominations to go. Next, it is the lion against the leopard. It's King Arthur and Sir Lancelot. <laughs> Basically, it's two blokes who are possibly attracted to the same girl. You are watching Big Brother. <laughs> Big Brother's live nominations. Now we know that tonight Big Brother has requested that people say who they want out of the house and who they want in the house. Yeah, I've got the house in my ear and all I can hear is Regina chattering. Let's, <laughs> let me concentrate please Big Brother. Turn that down. This is important. At home, I want you to know that nominating people to go out of the house, it's just a red herring and that means it's just a trick of Big Brother's. He's not really interested in that. What he's really interested in is the number of people that no one says they want in the house. These are the people who contribute the least, OK? So the people who contribute the least, as understood by the other housemates, will be the ones who are up for nomination. At the moment, it is considered that Joanne, Leah and Saxon are the ones who could be nominated, but it's not over yet because our final two housemates are about to wave their nomination flags. Yes, it's the showdown between Patrick and Benjamin. Benjamin has a competitive streak, but Patrick's the one who always seems to win. I wonder if Joanne will have anything to do with their nomination choices. Many hands make light work, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Says the man lying on the couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five, six, three. Five, three. Yeah. Six, three. Oh, no. Going to that fridge and I'll make one beer. Yeah. Fine. This is Big Brother. Ben to the diary room. <laughs> Good luck, Bobby. Good luck, Carl. Good luck, Carl. Good luck, Carl. Good luck, Carl. Carlo. Good luck, Hello? Ben. Yes? Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Uh, I nominate Leah. Uh, Leah is the last in the house. Uh, there was a small incident the other day where she accused me of hogging the barbecue. It may be trivial. I think it was just because she's a little bit immature and it caused a little bit of a stir. That wasn't the case. It was a pre-arranged arrangement with the people prior to her uh, arriving and I was disappointed that she didn't make the inquiries to find that out. Who do you nominate for one point and why? Uh, for one point, I nominate Chrissy. Um, Chrissy, I feel, is the person that's most playing the game in the house. Uh, Chrissy has turned a couple of comments that I've made to people that I've had a rapport with. She's twisted them around to make it sound like there was more than uh, goodwill in the comment, that there was more, a little bit of malice and a little bit of uh, something that wasn't there. And I think the people that the comment was directed to was, was well aware of. Uh, the way it was made, and I think that she twisted it to make her look good and me look bad. Who do you nominate to stay in the house for two points and why? 
to stay in the House, I nominate Patrick. He's the calming influence of the House. He's, I believe, the, the person that uh, is keeping everything nice and even. Who do you nominate for one point to stay in the House? One point to stay in the House? Uh, Regina. Uh, Regina keeps the House normal. Uh, she says it as she uh, thinks it, and uh, I don't think there's anything that she hides too much. Thank you. Thank you. Patrick to the diary room. No! No! Go on, Patrick. No. <laughs> Show me your stuff. Do you need to get that? Go, Paige. Go, Paige. Go, Paige. Go, Paige. Go, Paige. Hi, big brother. Patrick. Hi. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, Leah, because there's very few things that I can relate to her with or relate to her about. I don't have that much to talk to her about. And I think if you're going to be here for a while, then that could be a bit difficult. That could be your fault. It could be, but I think that it's... How does it affect your experience? How does it affect my experience? Indeed. Um, because if you're going to be here with stuck in a house with people, then you want to be able to have long conversations with them. And I don't think there is a lot I could talk to Leo about before we ran out of conversation. Who do you nominate for one point? Um, Chrissy. Um, because Chrissy hasn't made such a strong contribution overall to um, the conversations, um, the group interaction. She sits there quite quietly on the sidelines. How do you, who do you nominate for two points to stay in the house and why? To stay in the house? I would nominate probably Joanne. Do you? Yep, definitely Joanne because um, she has constant energy and she's always cleaning, tidying, um, talking, contributing. Um, being friendly, cheering people up. Who do you nominate for one point to stay? Um, probably, oh, definitely, um, I'd say Reggie. Um, she just has this nice, calm nature, and it's like a reassuring, everyday presence. She's always there. She's up early, um, and she just helps to keep things pretty sane, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Patrick may just have saved Joanne. We won't know until after the break. Now, I want to say a big thank you to our guests, but before you go, What's the best advice for coping in the first week, I have, if you're nominated? Oh, I have absolutely no idea. I'm hideous at it. Don't ask me. That's because you just cried the whole time, I didn't you? Well, it, looks like, it looked like that anyway, yes. Yes. Now, what would your suggestion be? Kiss people. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I... I'd increase your alcohol intake. <laughs> Children are watching. Oh, yeah, just... Just, just feel, feel the need to be positive. You know, there's no need in, in, to whinge and, and whine. Thanks, But Mary. just keep up being... <laughs> <laughs> and um, and yeah, just just take it for what it is. Just and Turks, what do you suggest? I say go out there and just do whatever you want. Cause it could be your last week, so just go out there, do whatever you want. Yeah, enjoy. Good. That is the spirit of this game. Exactly. Enjoy. Thank you. A big thank you to Katrina, Damien, and to Carl. <laughs> Have nominated, but who is up for eviction? We'll be back after the break when both houses get another big surprise from Big Brother. the live nomination show now all 14 housemates have nominated all right and big brother has one more surprise for them so let's cross or just check which house we're going to cross to 
First of all, the roundhouse to see Big Brother's next surprise. This is Big Brother. No, other side. Look at the other side. This week, there are two nominees for eviction. I'll tell you who they are later in the week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's better that we don't know. It's better that we don't know. He has such a sense of humour. I've got adrenaline. Oh, yes. right. OK, let's cross now to the square house as Big Brother delivers his surprise over there. That was Jamie. No, like, probably, I swear to God, it's good steps. No, that one this was. is Big Brother. This week, there are three nominees for eviction. Of course there are. I'll tell you who they are later in the week. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's Come on. That's Marty! Thanks, big brother. That's murder. That's, that's murder. murder. That's no, thank sucks. you, no, please. Can we go? No, goodbye. I bet you it's you. OK. So there are five. As you can see, they don't have to be equal numbers from each house. It can be any number. It's just the housemates that got the least votes to stay in the house. If you understand, this is going to become a subject at all schools in maths. OK. <laughs> if big brother's not going to announce who's nominated, I will. As always, the person with the most phone votes will be evicted. Now, the nominated people are Saxon, Leah, Irina, Belinda and Ben. All right? Now, to vote Saxon out of the house, the number is 1902-555-570. That's 1902-555-570. To vote Leah out of the house, the number is 1902-555-572. That's 1902-555-572. To vote Arena out of the house, the number is 1902-555-565. That's 1902-555-565. To vote Belinda out of the house, the number is 1902 555 568. That number is 1902 555 568. And to vote Ben out of the house, the number is 1902 555 571. That number is 1902 555 571. Now, you can also SMS the name of the person you want evicted, and the number there is 1881010. That's 1010, as in Channel 10. All right, now, I just want to make it clear, as in all the other years, you are evicting one person. Not one person from each house, one person. All right, so get that clear. We had no expectation of five people being nominated, so it could take a few minutes for us to get this system in order, so be patient. Wait a couple of minutes before you start making your votes. This is going to be an extremely tense week for all of the housemates. They won't know who their friends and enemies are, and none of us know when Big Brother will tell them just who has been nominated. So tune into The Daily Show at 7 o'clock weeknights, and starting tonight at 11.30 on Channel 10, two hours of live streaming from the house until 1.30 every morning. And, of course, there's our online experience at bigbrother.optus.com.au. It is all fabulous. The phone lines are working now. I'm Gretel Colleen, and this is Big Brother, where nothing is what it seems. <laughs> Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.